tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. We're back here in the south today. We're doing a little catfishing, a little striper fishing, and everybody knows that catfish and stripers go after live baits. So what we're doing today is we're taking live bluegill and we're taking live white perch and we're fire dyeing them in chartreuse and blue. The reason why we're doing it is, hey, look at how dirty the water is today. The water's dirty, which means we want a bait that's actually gonna stand out. So if you follow the instructions on the bottle, and we mean follow the instructions instead of pouring an entire bottle into a full gallon bucket, which won't work. Follow the instructions that we're going to show you today. You'll be able to get vibrant baits just like we are and have a banner day fishing. Let's show you how easy it is to do. All right, guys. Well, I'm just getting ready to dye up some baits for stripers and catfish. We're going to do uh, perch and we're going to do bluegill. So a few, uh, few important few important steps to this process is to not use too much water. So this bottle right here, I'm gonna fill it up to the top four times with just clean, regular water and put it in my bucket. So I already have this done right here. So I've filled this up four times. And I'm just gonna dump my one bottle of chartreuse dye. So a couple very important steps here, guys, is just to make sure, you know, follow the directions on the bottle. Only use four bottles of water to one bottle of dye and to always make sure to have an aerator on them because you know any any bait in a little amount of water is going to die fast without any oxygen so just make sure you have that aerator on and those baits are going to be great so when we're dying up big baits like you know bluegill perch big gizzard shad you only want to put about you know six to eight of them in there at a time then uh, after those are done you can put them into your bucket of clean water then put a new batch in there you know you can usually get a couple couple good batches out of uh, out of one mixture. So we've had our perch, crappie, and bluegill in the dye for about a half hour here, and uh, we're gonna take them out and remove them into some fresh water, and that's that's very important. You know, you don't want to overdo it. You know, after about a half hour, you're not gonna get any more color than what they already have to them. So it's just important to put them back in some fresh water, and they're gonna stay alive for as long as you want, and they'll keep that color until they're done. So these are some perch we fired out up in some chartreuse. We're gonna get them going out on a hook for some stripers. I'm just going to hook him right through the lips. I like to go in these bigger baits. I like to put the hook right inside the mouth and just come up right above the, right in between the nostrils. That way uh, the hook doesn't pierce his brain and he stays nice and alive. And just like that. So now I'm going to do up some blue baits. Um, same exact process as the chartreuse. Four bottles full of water, one bottle of dye. Make sure you have your aerator on. Um, those are, you know, vital steps. And we're going to add the baits to them. And like I said, you know, your bigger baits, you only want to do about six to eight at a time. You know, if you're doing small, like, crappie minnows or shiner minnows, you can do, you know, up to a couple dozen. Well, I'm going to show you guys these blue baits we just dyed up. You know what? This blue, it's so strong, you only want to have them in there for 15, 20 minutes tops. You know, you don't, don't need them in there for that long. Then after, you know, after they're done, you can transport them back into some uh, clean water. So I'll rinse this guy off, and I'll show you what he looks like. And that's what we're working with right there. That's after he's been rinsed. And we've only had him in there probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so. You could leave him in there a little longer, you know, if you want it more, but I, there's really no, uh, no purpose. That's all the color that's gonna get it done. 